Sometimes you can plan God right out of church. Hi, I'm Pastor Richard Emsick, the missionary pastor of 923 Community, and I'm here with Lori, my mother-in-law, church member, DDP yoga teacher, food provider, and friend. And we're here for the Gospel Minute. Today's Gospel is Mark 6, 30 through 46, and it's this famous story where Jesus fed 5,000 without near enough to feed the 5,000, and it was a miracle. And that reminds us of our church. (laughs) So one of the things that Lori has taken on is this food ministry. Now, how did this start? It started with trying to save a little money. Um, When we first started going to the church, we realized we really enjoyed fellowshipping with each other, and we didn't want it to end when the service ended. Mm -hmm. So we were going out to eat at various restaurants, And then we began to invite new people and then more actual church members wanted to join us. And it became not only um, expensive, but just the crowd was too large. Yeah. And I remember there was times where we'd invite people that were new and they didn't have any money. So someone would pick up their check, which is great, but it's hard at a certain point. So we came up with a solution. To have basically a potluck after Mm -hmm. church. So... It started where one of us will provide, and that's um, become something that I really enjoy doing, provide a main dish, Mm -hmm. and then other people contribute to side dishes. So, for example, if we have a sandwich day, I might do the meat and the cheese, and then uh, someone else will bring the bread and uh, lettuce, tomato, that type of thing. And it's been really cool to have an opportunity to reach out, especially the new people, and invite them and and show them, like, we want to know you, we want to be breaking bread together, authentically knowing each other. And it's not super planned out. It's not super well funded uh, or well funded at all. But there seems to always be enough. And that's just been such a cool thing to witness. It's amazing because not only is there enough during the actual meal, we've been able to bless families with leftovers um, at the end of the meal, which has blown me away. And I remember one time we were talking about after the service, we were saying, you know, sometimes it's always good to plan, but sometimes you can plan so much. You plan God right out of the service where I love that that ministry is a ministry where we kind of need God to show up. We kind of need some people to say, hey, you know what? I want to help you guys today. And then, hey, I want to bring you some meals today. And that's good because that gives an opportunity for us to be generous and for God to show his faithfulness. And it's good for me to learn that sometimes my plan is not God's plan. Yeah. Like I said my original plan was just to try to save money, and it's blossomed in the, into a ministry, mm. which was never something I thought I should be doing or would be doing or really could be doing. Yeah, that's awesome. Remember, God loves you. He wants you to do ministry and create opportunities to bless others. Remember, we love you, and we'd love to have you uh, after the service at 1030 on Sundays to enjoy the food with us and uh, have a great day.